Welcome to Production Expert, my name's Dan Cooper. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features in the latest version of what I consider to be one of the best EQ plugins around, that being FabFilter Pro-Q3. Now, I've always thought that Pro-Q has a bit of an EQ Swiss Army knife, a multi-tool, if you will, featuring a variety of very useful attachments. Now, Pro-Q is so simple to use. It's adored by audio engineers across the world because it's intuitive and sounds second to none. And uh, yeah, why do I love it? Well, you can load up bands simply like this. Double click, drag. We've got auto gain feature, which is very useful for matching the output level. So let's boost a band here. Cut. The level just stays the same. Our ears can tune right into what we're doing. Very, very simple, very, very useful indeed. Pro-Q is also great because we've got this auto display range. Now, if I make a boost here, for instance, bring it to the top, it then expands from 12 dB to 24 dB, which is fantastic. So you can do some really fine adjustments. Let's just bring this range down to 3 dB. And it looks like you're making extreme boosts or cuts, but you're not. So you can fool your eyes, but in reality, you're really shaping the tone of your tracks subtly, which is brilliant. So that's why I love Pro-Q. What are some of the new features? It's got a slight UI refresh, nothing too dramatic. One of the headline features being dynamic EQ, very simple to load up. So let's say we've got a band here. Right click, make dynamic. Very simple. Set it to expansion or compression. And to adjust the controls for each band's dynamic EQ, you need to come down here to this little toolbox. You can either affect the dynamic range here on this little wheel, or you can drag this little node. And the threshold is either set to automatic or you hit automatic and you've got full control of it there, which is great. Now, if you didn't want that, you can always clear the dynamics or disable altogether. Now, another cool feature is invert gain. Very useful when you're mixing, let's say, drums. Say we're trying to find a problematic frequency. Get a tight cue, we sweep it about, like so. Increase the gain to hear the frequency, and then we invert it like this, but a little bit fiddly. We can always grab the gain control down here, but again, a little bit fiddly. Much easier way of doing this now in Pro-Q3 is right click, invert gain. Simple. Now, another cool feature that's included is a little bit analogy. It's called Q gain interaction. You hit this cog down here to turn it on. And as you increase the bands, the Q gets narrower, a little bit like an API. Now, there's a new kind of facility and workflow that we're seeing develops in other plugins, and that is inter plugin communication. And FabFilter have included something like this in FabFilter Pro Q3. And it's down here, the analyzer. And what this lets us do is see the full spectrum of any other Pro-Q3 instance in your session. So this instance that I've got up here is on the drum overheads. Let's say we want to see what the close mic kick drum track is doing. Well, hit play, hit kick, and it displays in red. Which is great because it shows us we've got some space in the bottom end down here that we could carve out using a filter to leave some room for the kick drum. With this, we also have something called a collision detector. You can gauge it by hitting this red button down here, and we can see, for instance, on our master instance, that we could have some problems around about this range. Same with the snare. Nice useful little guide that for when you're dialing in your EQ curves. Okay, so what else is there? Well, there's a new shape called flat tilt. Again, this can be set to dynamic. And there's also a new filter slope as well. So let's just load that up. And it's called brick wall. Now we thought it was extreme in uh, Pro-Q2 to have a 96 dB per octave filter. And FabFilter have gone one extra step and given us a brick wall. Insane. which is very cool. But there's more for the post-production guys and girls out there. 
you should check this out because Pro-Q3 supports up to 7.1.2 Dolby Atmos as well. And the last feature, but by no means least, is its per-band mid-side processing. Now, in the previous version, we could only run Pro-Q2 either in mid-side or normal stereo. Not anymore. Let's load a few bands up. Let's say I want this to be low cut. can set this to be filtering the sides. Let's say I want this band to be EQ in the mids, so a little bump there. And this is what we couldn't do in the previous version. Have another band, but it's working in stereo. Let's put that on a shelf. Now down here on this little output dial, we can monitor mid sides by clicking the LR to change to MS and then move the dial to the right to monitor the sides, which is on this filter here. Can balance between mid sides, monitor just the mids, increase that bump. Brilliant. Let's put it back up the middle. Monitor left, right. And reach for the top shelf. Make another shelf down here. Excellent. So I'm very impressed with Pro-Q3. So impressed, in fact, that this is getting an Expert Choice Award. To find out my full verdict, do click that card at the top right of the screen or the link in the description below to find out what we feel are the hits and misses of Pro-Q3. Hope you guys got something from this. I'm Dan from Production Expert, and I'll see you again soon.